Hi, I'm Leo. Do you know how easy it is to bring your old jewelry and coins to Family Pond and trade them in for cash? How easy? It's way easy. But Leo, that bracelet is broken. That's okay. But Leo, those coins are really old. They're still worth money at Family Pond. Broken jewelry, old coins, it doesn't matter. Family Pond does not support children sitting on the edge of the counter. Family Pond does, however, support and endorse children, parents, and the selling of gold and silver. Come on, Information officer for um, Zion National Park. I'm usually so the chief of interpretation and education. Yeah, we, right now you have, I think we have three rangers and myself that are around. You're, you're about to outplay um, the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> so why are you here? Well, we heard that there were some folks that were looking at um, getting in today, and we just came here to let people know that we are still closed. We totally understand that this has been a horrible week, and it's been horrible on our visitors, it's been horrible on the locals, it's also been horrible on our staff. It means um, that um, none of the facilities are open, um, no one is supposed to be recreating with it. Well, obviously, um, you know, over 200 of our employees are furloughed. We do not have the staff to hold back 100 people, um, nor any desire to do so. So what we would be doing is we would be monitoring, we would be taking pictures, we'd be letting people know that, you know, if you're below 25, you haven't done anything wrong, but above that, um, there could be repercussions. So we would essentially be documenting, we'd be asking people to, um, to not do any harm. Um, we have other people we could call in if there was an incident, but, um, but we're very happy that there isn't. And um, we're very appreciative of people understanding that we, we want to be open just as much as they want us open. Since, um, we normally get 10,000 people a day, and this time of year, it tends to be a lot of international visitors. The heart just bleeds for them. A lot of these people come, and um, this is their once-in-a-lifetime vacation. A lot of them are coming to multiple national parks. Um, We've been trying our best to send them to some of Utah's great state parks. Ever. So this is a really busy time, and that's one of the reasons that we have to force a closure, is that with 10,000 people coming in and only a couple staff members, we don't have the ability to take care of what we are supposed to do. That's one of our worst case scenarios is a search and rescue in the back country. And as of Monday, I'm supposed to be spending two weeks in Zion. So it's been prepaid for a year, taking time off work, and I'm angry that my park is being held hostage for a public, uh, for a political agenda. And that makes me angry. It's in the black, it doesn't run in the red. There's no reason it should be closed. If they don't have funds, close the visitor centers, close the trams, but let me go in my park. I pay taxes. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I should be allowed to go in my park. And it's affecting way more than just government and um, employees. It's affecting all of these little businesses that are getting their livelihood before the season closes down for the winter. We are not open. We understand. We're we're we're, uh, we're being uh, disobedient civilly. So we're we're going to go in and, and make a, a statement today, and we hope that it reaches the people that uh, send the mandates down to you guys. That it will help all of us. I do understand y'all's frustrations, and um, we are closed, mm -hmm. so we will be monitoring, we will be taking pictures, there are possible consequences later. Okay. Um, so, I just want you guys to understand that we we totally understand what this is an impact for our visitors, our locals, sure. as well as um, as well as our staff. It's been really hard on everybody. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully it will, hopefully it will open again up soon. We hope so too, Allie. Thanks a lot. So uh, let's uh, <laughs> let's take a look here and see uh, see what we got in front of us. <laughs> go guys, go! Good job, daughter. They just said stay together. Don't bother any wildlife. Come and go as a group. You might have. Be able to go under. <laughs> Can I get on the other side for you? You got it. Looks like you got it just fine, don't you? <laughs>